is a bit on the storytelling time about Mr. Bowden in 1957 who had depression. He was a voluntary patient at a mental health institution run by the Frayne Hospital Management Committee, England. He agreed to undergo electroconvulsive therapy, a fairly new procedure to treat his depression. Small electric currents are passed through his brain, intentionally triggering a brief seizure. He was not given any muscle relaxant, and his body was not restrained during the procedure. Can you imagine what's going to happen next? He swung about violently before the procedure was stopped. He suffered fractures of each side of the pelvis during the therapy. He sued the hospital for compensation. He argued they were negligent for not issuing relaxants, not restraining him, and not warning him about the risk involved. Hypothetically, if you were the judge, what would be your verdict based on these facts of the case? Answer this question in the platform provided. At this point, I'm really very curious of your response. I'm sure that some of you think that uh, Mr. Bolum would have won the case because of the injury he suffered. While on the other hand, some of you would think that Mr. Bolum would lose the case. So let's find out what exactly was the judge verdict at a point in time in 1957. Before I start, it's important for us to note that at the time, juries were still being used for tort cases in England and Wales. So the judge role would be to sum up the law and then leave it for the jury to hold the defendant liable or not. In Singapore, we do not have a jury system. The jury delivered a verdict in favour of the defendant and that is the hospital. In other words, Mr. Bolum, poor Mr. Bolum, lost the case. Given the general medical opinions about what was acceptable electroshock practice, the hospital had not been negligent in the way they carried out the treatment. The Bolum test may be formulated as a rule that a doctor is not negligent if he acts in accordance with a practice accepted at the time as proper by a responsible body of medical opinion, even though other doctors adopt a different practice. In short, the law imposes the duty of care, but the standard of care is a matter of medical judgment, not so much about the judge judgment. Simply put, the judge decision is based on what is deemed reasonable by the medical professionals and that give rise to Bolum test.